Okay, let's open that up. In your reserves, you will find this piece. On the back, it looks like this. So it looks like this part of the woman here, her neck, shoulder. I'm going to have it upside down where the flowers are here. So we are 12 inches across, and we are about 4 inches this way. Measure over 8 inches and cut. So after you do that, this is what you should have. If you were to place this down, here's our fold out, and bring this over to the left, and just leave yourself a little bit of white showing here. Most importantly, get that centered. So you'll have a little bit of white here and here. And we're going to glue that down. Again, our fold out is here. And we're looking at the front of our pocket with the writing, if that's how you did yours. Okay. We're going to bring it to all the way to the left, leaving a little bit of white and centering that top and bottom. So that is going to leave us with white here. And we'll burnish that down. Get that all down. Now, we need to place a magnet, and we're going to have something here too. So let's grab a couple magnets. I'm going to come in about to the side, maybe an inch or so, right in the middle there. Whoops. I'm going to grab another one. Which way? Grab a plus. Stick that on top. The hardest time getting that adhesive off there. Okay, now we're going to bring it over. Remember, make sure this is flat and even. We're going to let that just fall. And we're going to press. And we're going to carefully lift that up. Hopefully, well, these are super strong. Wow. Uh, they're so strong I can't get this apart. Okay, got it apart. <laughs> Let's get some paper going here. Now, one thing in your reserves, you will find this print. And it is about four inches wide and it is about eight inches long. We're going to place this down on the inside of the panel, leaving a white border here, over here, away from, away from your score line here, top. And now we're just going to do a quick measure to fit. So I'm going to make a line there. And I'm going to cut. And I'm going to verify that that's going to fit in there nicely. And it is. Now one thing, when tearing out the book, I notice I have some adhesive over here. It's kind of rough. I'm just going to kind of clip that off a little so it's a smooth edge. So you have a choice. You can go this side or this side. I'm just going to go with this one. Make sure I get some glue around there. And we're going to glue that down. Don't worry about the magnet being exposed over there. We'll take care of that shortly. I just want to get our stuff on here. All right, next thing in your reserves. Do you remember that long skinny strip in the beginning I told you to put in your reserves? This is perfect. This is one of those things. It's about a quarter inch wide and it's about well, it looks like it's about eight and five eighths inch long. We're going to measure over eight inches and cut, or you can just lay this down and do a measure to fit, which in my case, I'm gonna do really quick and just snip off the edge here. And I'm gonna glue that down. You can go any side you want. That's going to fill in the little gap there. Place 
place that down and I'm going to leave the white border of course because this is a quarter inch just place it push it up next to the other all right let's close it in your reserves you will have this print on the back it looks like this measure over one and a half inches and cut. This is what you should have. The first thing that I would like you to do is see right underneath this little flower. I'm just going to make a pencil mark right underneath there. First cut is going to be right like that. Alright, now that we have our one side and the bottom where it needs to be, we're going to place this down and we're going to leave a little bit of a white border over here, white border down here. Now we're going to come up here, make a pencil mark, and over here to measure to fit. My first cut's going to be this way, and then I will cut that way. So this is what yours should look like, and let's double check ourselves to make sure we're going to fit nicely in there, and I think it looks really good. So we'll glue this down. One thing is, while I'm doing tutorials, the reason why I do do some measure to fit is sometimes it's just easier to do it that way, but also it helps you so that when you journey on perhaps to make your own and you're not real good with measurements, you can always do measure to fit to try and figure out what you need to do. All right, we're going to open that up and we're going to tackle this. On the very last page, the back page of your pack, you will find this print. And we're going to get after a couple things. You'll see two bird cages. We're going to cut out the smaller one. So there's one. And again, we'll try to keep this page intact for us. It'll be easier. And what I was figuring we would do is kind of maybe hang this off to the side on there. Now for this, I thought I would do something a little bit different here. And get something with a flower or something. Okay, up here where we took that out, let's take out the butterfly, this little bouquet which is, has the other butterfly too. Let's see here. There's so many pretty cutouts on the next one is this bird. Let's just cut him out, go around. All right, we'll put this back in our reserves. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out around the bird the bird cage, both of these little butterflies, and of course this. So let's do that first. I got mine all cut out. Now these over here, the two butterflies, the bird and the bird cage, I did back with white cardstock to give a little more strength and cut out and around it. So you'll want to pause the video in just a moment. This one I did not. This is the one that's going to go over that. So we're just going to glue that down. If you'd like to pause the video after placing this so that you can back your other pieces with some white cardstock. I have the hiccups. I am so sorry. We're just going to place it and that covers up the magnet. It also, for a picture here, we can also put one down here. Picture here, a journal. Okay, let's turn to the front once that's done and you've got these all back. This is going to hang off. Now, one thing I want to tell you is you do not want to, this side of this piece to hang over 
the side of your fold out. I'm only going to put a little bit of glue here. The reason why is I want to still be able to tuck a photo back behind and I'm just going to have it slightly hang off this. So as you can see, that's it. And very easy, just right down here. So we can still tuck something back behind. Alright, the birds and this. Now I was thinking I wanted to place him up here or right here. and I kind of like the idea here. I did snip off the little pink butterfly from his nose. And I think I want a dimensional uh, piece here. So again, the tail, you'll want to move him forward so it is not over the other side because if it is, it's going to catch on your page. So we'll move him. And he's just going to get glued down so that nothing snags. His tail's going to come in at least an eighth of an inch away. And I'll just stick him like that. And he should be good. Just like that my butterflies. So I was able to keep his antennas so the antennas are actually going to be glued down so they don't snag either. This one not so much. So I think we're just gonna put a blue one here so the antennas will get some there and then right down the middle. And I'm gonna place him up in the corner here. And I think we'll place the, the little white butterfly here, just right down the middle, right here. And I think that that looks good. All right, we are ready to place this now. So I'm going to remove the score tape backing from behind here. I'm going to move in a quarter inch away from that, I'm going to center this top and bottom and there's going to be a lip here of white. If you would like to apply glue on top of your score tape to maneuver a little bit, then do so. So a quarter inch away, try to get that centered top and bottom because it's important on this and the reason why is because we're placing this in when we place our page one it's going to line up with this one so i'm fairly confident that's pretty good there okay now we're going to burnish down all right so for this little flap here, I like to add a little bit of decorative paper. Now you do not have to. We can just leave that white if we wanted. But for me, I like to add just a little bit of color. And I think this one would be perfect. Just a little bit of color, not too much. So what I'd like us to do, because we already know that this, um, we made our little pocket, the white, just slightly bigger than our 8 inches. So I think what we're going to do is measure over 8 inches and cut. And this is in your reserves. And I should have told you, I think it's 12 inches, it is. And it's about 3 and 3 eighths inch this way. And those flowers would look gorgeous too, popping up or some of that purple, but I think I'm going to use, well, we'll see. Let's cut it by eight, and then we can decide. Okay. Now what we want to do, once we have it like this, and it matters not which way you're looking at it, I have the white flowers more over here. I'm going to measure over, why don't we do an inch and cut? All right, so we'll have a choice. This should slip right in that pocket here. So we could have it like this and leave a little bit of white lip here so you can see that there's that. Or we can go with the lighter side. 
I'm just going to slip that in, take a look. And this is where you can make your own decisions to what you would like, you know? And then it would look like this. And I'm going to go with it with the lighter side up. Now for this, we can use glue. And we're just going to slip that in there. Now this, I didn't get all the way down at the edge here, but on this side I did because that's what's going to be up here. Now I'm just going to slide that in as best I can. And I'll wipe up any glue and just leave a little bit of a white lip up here. That looks pretty good. And that way I don't have glue seeping down inside my pocket. And I'm going to burnish. And clean up any glue that pops up. So there is our page two. And this little half pocket, half page, works nicely. Now one thing is, is if you're opening it up and you see some of your writing, you should be able to get in there with uh, an eraser so, without hurting your page. Just be careful. Or you can lay cardstock at the end of the tutorial. But I'm just going to get on in there. I'm not going to worry about it. These are pretty tough pages, guys. So now we got that. All right, let's grab our page one. And F, our fold-out is over here. So now you'll be able to line the bottom of your decorated paper up against this one and get it in. Now on this particular one, for page one, we are going to scoot it all the way over to the left until we are on top of this inner, inner, inner white cardstock that we laid. But we're going to try to match it up with the cardstock here and here to get it in. And the reason why, it'll give us more room for this little fold out. If you don't like that, you can come closer. It shouldn't make a difference. Whatever it is you'd like. So that's another thing. I like to give options so that it fits your taste too on certain things. Okay, again, we're going to double check to make sure we know which way we're going here. And if you'd like to play some glue for maneuvering, you can. I'm just going to eyeball this and hope I get it on straight <laughs> and lined up. And I think I do. I think that's good enough. So and then I'm going to place it. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to burnish here first. And then I can kind of get down underneath in here and down in that pocket. And over to the side. Now over here with this, I'm just going to go like this. That little sticky thing should burnish down pretty good. There we have it. Page one and page two. It looks awesome. Let's go to page three. We're on page three, which is the back side of our half page. I'm trying to get this video camera to stop shaking around. So there's no pre-cuts for that, but do you remember we cut this? This was for on the other side for this. We're going to need that. And all we're going to do is lay this down so it is even top and bottom with our other decorated page there and we're going to glue that down. This is very easy. So we'll be able to use this skinny scrap up. And we're going to center that top and bottom leaving a little white lip. So that's an indication there that there is that pocket on the other side. All right, in your reserves, you will find this print. On the back, it looks like this. Now, I'm not going to use this side. We're actually going to be using this side. I really like this print. 
So the first thing, we're going to look at it like this. We're going to measure over 8 inches and cut. This is what you should have. It matters not. We're going to look at it the correct way. I just want to make sure that we have the same leftovers. And for this, I think we are going to go measure over 3 and 7 eighths inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side. Now look how pretty that is. And that will match up with that. And we're going to stay away from that. You can go about an eighth of an inch on this, or three sixteenths actually, even a quarter inch. But anyway, I'm going to go about three sixteenths inch away from that hinge. And I'm going to glue that matching up. I think that's good right there. I think I got that on halfway even. And I'm going to burnish. I did not use score tape on this. This is just a panel. I didn't feel I needed to. Small little piece. Make sure we burnish that down. And that looks beautiful. Page 3 is complete. We are now moving on to page 4. We're on page four, and I took uh, about a week off from filming. I had a bunch of tomato canning and stuff to do. So back to this. What we had for pre-cuts is we did a three and a quarter by nine and one eighth inch. We called it a pocket. We laid this on our scoring board, so we were three and a quarter inches across and we scored it at a half inch. We turned it, so now we were nine and one eighth inch across. We scored it at a half inch and eight and five eighths inch. So let's take care of this really quick while we have it out. Down here where it makes a little square, we're going to cut out that square And then when we're done with that, we can fold on these score lines and then we'll set it off to the side until we are ready. I had uh, also made some homemade blueberry jams. And when I was cleaning the blueberries, I don't know if you've ever used your hands in the colander to clean it and then stain your fingers purple. <laughs> <laughs> I had that going on and uh, so I had to put some quick nail polish on that's going to change really quick here. I cannot paint my nails worth beans. So hopefully this will not come off on my white cardstock. <clears throat> and if it does, it does. <laughs> Alright, so we got our corners out. We're going to set that off to the side. In your paper pack, you will find this. So, and if you remember, we used this on the page one. On the back, it looks like this. So the first thing I would like us to do is just turn that upside down, measure over eight inches, and cut. We're gonna stick this in our reserves. And now we'll just turn it this way. We're gonna measure over eight inches and cut. Let's flip that over, and we'll just have it like this. Okay, so what we want to do, we can set this off to the side for right now. What we want to do is grab this gorgeous print out of our paper pack, and on the back it looks like this. Now notice that when on page one we had the curtain here, and it's this wide. Over here, it's wider. So what I would like you to do is, where it's the widest over here is where we're gonna measure from the side over. And about two and three quarters inch, we're just gonna make a dot. It's somewhere above that uh, wing of that butterfly. Take your ruler, and we're gonna measure down eight inches to the side and we'll make a pencil mark here. So I've just made a little mark. Now line up with that pencil mark and 
on that what we're going to do is measure over one and a quarter inches and we're going to make a dot. Now this part, and you can just, uh, if you want to connect your lines, you can. We'll be cleaning it up with the paper cutter. But what we want to do is make this a little less wide so that it doesn't cover up everything when we put our pocket down because this is almost exactly like our page one. So this is where we're going to draw an imaginary line. It does not have to be perfect because curtains, they aren't always perfect. So what we're going to do is we have that dot, we're just going to come, oh, just up to the bottom of that scallop there, and we're just going to kind of bring it down to that dot, lightly with your pencil. The next is we have another one down here, and we have that line, and all we're going to do is just kind of imaginary line here, we're just going to draw that and bring this curtain at a slant very easy and like I said it does not have to be perfect and I'm not sure if you can see what I did here but I started up here and I just came down to my dot and then I just gradually came over down here so we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut across and we're going to try to not disturb this this will come in handy possibly later for us. And I'm just going to cut. And again, this does not have to be perfect. So, that's it. That's all I got going there. Okay. Now we're going to do the little scallops. And we're going to scallop all the way. Well, let's see. How far do we need to go over is about 8 inches, so we don't have to disturb over here. So I'm going to place this down 8 inches over. I'll just make a mark right there so I know somewhere over here I need to stop. So and I'm just going to kind of scallop. And where there is no scallop there, where it's kind of blemished out, you just make your own. So I think I'm about where I need to be here. And now I'm just going to cut up. Straight as possible. You can always fix that on your paper cutter if you'd like. Straighten it up. For this, we're just going to stick in our reserves for right now. And we're going to grab a scratch piece of white cardstock. See if you have something. And we're going to do that we're going to glue down and I'm going to get rid of any pencil marks I may have here and we're going to do like we did before on that kind of we're just going to kind of place this where it needs to be we're going to glue that down burnish and then we're going to cut out and around and we're going to leave a, a white border by that that curtain there We will definitely need to grab our Zots pretty quick here, but for now, we're going to do this, cut it out, and then we can get our pocket ready to go there, and then this will be ready. So I'm just going to kind of use my paper on the side here to try to line me up straight. I see some pencil. Okay, so I want to try and keep straight. I'm just going to stick this on my paper cutter and cut right on across there. And now I'm just going to cut. Just like we did before. So now if you were to look, this should fit your piece. And if you need to trim up the bottom or something, do so. Okay, set that off to the side. Let's get this ready to go. Pull our insides in, put some glue down at the bottom of each side. Pull that up, and we'll burnish to get that down there. And I'm going for my 3 8 inch score tape. 
boy, my piece is just going all over the place. All right, so this should fit. And remember, when you do place this down, you might have a little bit of overhang of white on each side. So we're just going to get that down. That's even. All right, let's get our paper for this. In your reserves, you should have this piece. On the back, it's the bottom half of the ladies. You'll see her lips and her neck. So all we're gonna do is lay this down to where the purple's on the top, and we're gonna measure to fit this. If I can find my pencil somewhere. It's in front of me, I know it. There it is. So I'll place a pencil mark here. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of shimmy this over just a little bit. Make sure I have that white lip. And I'll come down here and make a pencil mark. So my first cut is going to be across the bottom so I can get a long skinny piece. And then I'll cut down the side. Once you have your cut, verify that you are going to fit. And then we're going to apply glue and we're going to glue that down and burnish it. Let's grab our zots. I'm going to pull out some here. And we will start placing them. Some sticky stuff. So when we place this, I've got this over here, and I'm going to go across this way, and I'm going to come down, and I'm also going to get right here. So I have mine all on there, and I'm going to carefully line this up. And if your thing comes down a little longer, that's okay. So we're just going to press. Okay, so we have this. And I really like this Dreams. This is in your reserves, by the way. Dreams are illustrations from the book Your Soul is Writing About You. I really like that. So I'm going to cut that out. And I think I'm just going to cut around it until I can get it out. And I think I'm going to grab at that little butterfly too. And it looks like I'm going to be detaching this. So I'll put all this back in our reserves. Okay, we're going to cut out and around this. We're going to glue it down to some white scrap cardstock. We're also going to be doing that with the butterfly. So let's get that all ready. And we will cut out and around with the white cardstock, leave it a little bit of a white border. So I have both of mine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on, but I'm only going to glue a little bit underneath here. So I'm just going to put some glue right there. And I'm going to have that off to the side a little bit. The butterfly. I think we're going to stick right there. Now, in your reserves, you will have this. And you'll see where we have the little letters and this. We're going to cut out around that. So first thing we want to do is just cut straight across and we'll put that back in our reserves. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to cut out the letters and we're going to back this to some white cardstock to really make it pop out. And then we can make this into like a little pocket or tuck area for us on that pocket. 
Yeah, you can just do the best you can here around the edges. Just make your way around. I'm not perfect at this. I kind of just use it as a little guideline, just going around. So that's what we got. Yeah, let's see what I've got for cardstock. I think this might fit there on the scrap piece. I'm going to use this. And again, we'll cut out and around with the white edges. I think that'll look nice for us. All right, I have mine. And I think I'll overlap just a little bit over here. So I'm just gonna put a little glue here along the bottom. And I think that will make a good little tuck without going over the things there. That's all we're going to do, just like that. Now, over here, I think I will, so I don't catch that if I'm turning a page. But you should still be able to get something back behind here. And of course, in your pocket. That looks good. Page four is complete. Let's turn that over. Get our score tape on there. And it looks like I got a little off my page with my little doodads, dots. But that's all right. We're just going around the outside like we normally do. down the middle here and actually I think I'll go two on each side okay we're gonna burnish this down really good we're gonna put this in our book together and uh, just watch over here and we're just gonna try and line that up I'm gonna bring mine almost all the way but I'm gonna have probably about an eighth of an inch there space off to the left. I'm trying to get that even top and bottom. And I think right there. All right, let's burnish that down, get those sides. All right, what do you think? Page four is complete. That looks pretty good. We're now on to page five. We're on page five and we have three pre-cuts. The first one is we cut two pieces the same. It was a four and three eighths by six and a half inch pieces and we called them fold outs. On each one of these, we laid these so that we were four and three eighths inch across. We scored it at a half inch and five eighths on both of these. All right, we had this pre-cut, and it's our last one. It's a three inch by five inch, and we called it a pocket. We laid it so we were three inches across. We scored it at a half inch. We then turned so we were now five inches across. We scored at a half inch and four and a half inches, and we called that a pocket. In your paper pack, you'll find this beautiful print. And on the back, it looks like this. First thing we're going to do is, looking at it like we're supposed to, is just to measure over 8 inches and cut. This is what you should have after making that cut. We'll turn it sideways. We'll measure over 8 inches and cut. And that is absolutely gorgeous. So let's start with our fold outs. Very simple. All we're going to do is fold on those score lines and we'll use our tool to help us out. All 
All right, so we're going to attach these. And what we're going to do is first we're going to look and have our hinge off to the right because we're going to lay our right hinge first. You have an inside score line and an outside. On that outside one, we're going to pinch. So you'll still be able to see that inside score line. We're just going to slide that back behind and we'll try to get that even top and bottom, same amount. We'll turn that over and we're going to glue that down, that flap. And then we'll just open this up, we'll fold on that other one, and then we will push. So now it should be flat on the sides there and still even. But let's open that up make sure we don't have any glue seeping in here. If you do, wipe it up. Here is our other fold out and the hinge is going to be off to the left side. There's an inside score line and outside. On the outside one we're going to pinch and we're going to attach that back behind. And now what we want to do is try to get that to the same as this one. So if it might take you a minute to get that lined up straight and once you do, pinch and hold it and we're going to flip that over. And we're just going to glue this down and do the same thing we did on the other one. And we'll fold back on the other, push in until it feels flat. So now these should be uh, pretty straight for us. We'll attach our magnet closure in just a moment. Let's open that up. We're going to place our little pocket. So down in the corners, we need to cut out those squares. And we'll fold all those full uh, square lines. <clears throat> all right, we'll pull in the sides here and down in the corner. We'll just get some glue down there. And we're going to line our 3 8 inch score tape just like we've been doing. For this, our pocket's going to lay right here. So I am going to be probably about a half inch up from the bottom. And I'm going to move in, oh, that's probably about, what, a quarter inch? Yeah, about a quarter inch from the side. And I think I'm about a half inch, well, about three-eighths, half inch. So I am actually about three-eighths inch here and about a quarter inch over here and we're going to place that. Okay, so my opening is up here so no sticky. Quarter inch from the side, maybe three-eighths from the bottom, in place for a little pocket. Looks good. So what we're going to first do is we'll just close that up and find our paper for this. And I found a color that I really like and it's this one. And on the other side it looks like this. Now that would be really pretty together but I want to separate the colors a little bit. And if you can see it will if I add these stripes. We'll separate from the busyness of the background here. So I think what we're going to do is looking at our sheet like this. Oh, really quick, if you have any of the adhesive still left on your piece, you'll want to trim that off first before measuring. So I'm going to do that really quick because I've got a lot of that adhesive on there and I'm just going to take off just a hair to get that off there. There we go. All right. So Actually, let's just turn it sideways. Let's measure over. I think we're going to want six and uh, 
go six and a quarter actually. So looking at it sideways, we're going to measure over six and a quarter inches and cut. So you should have the top half of your page there. And I'm just going to look again just to make sure. And I actually, I think we're going to go with about a three and a half inch. So we're going to measure over three and a half inches and cut. And we'll measure over again three and a half inches and cut. Three and a half. So that's what you should have. And that would look really pretty, but like I said, I want us to flip these over. So we have those pieces here. And the one that we can actually glue down right now is the left-hand side one. So whichever one you want to use. We're not going to glue the other one yet. We're just going to set that off to the side. And we'll solder it in there. And for me, I'm just going to open this up. It's easier for me to burnish down. There we go. All right, before we can actually glue that down, we're going to have to place uh, our magnet. So I want to find our piece first because we're going to have something really pretty and I think this is what we want. So and I'm going to grab the purple butterfly when I do this. But we'll just kind of cut this out. I'm going to put this back in my reserves for right now. I'll grab some more off there, but let's do one thing at a time. Okay, so I'm going to cut out and around the butterfly and I'm going to mount that to white cardstock and cut around leaving a white border. Same goes with this one. We'll do that too on this. So I have mine cut out with the white border as best I could and I got the butterfly. I did get the antennas, but they're kind of wonky, so if you didn't get your antennas on there, don't worry about it. The first thing is to check out which way the clock goes. And so this is the pink is going to be up here, the flowers, because here's the number one. So we're just going to lay that, and the 12 should be right in between your two fold outs. So once you know where that's supposed to go so that you get this on right, what I would like you to do is write down here with your pencil just kind of draw the line and then you can go over it slightly. Just kind of like there so you can see how this is supposed to place when you put it back down. Now as far as underneath we're only going to go to the edge here, not quite over. So once you put this down and you can see where that line is, you can come up here so you can figure out where this little guy goes too. So that will give you an indication. So I know I only go up that far and I'm going to come around here and it looks like there's a bunch over here so that's it just like that without going over and so now I'm going to fit my piece and I see where the line is and I'm just going to come right on over that and I'll push it up make sure I'm still straight with my 12 and then wipe up any glue there and then that way I know I can get this on the correct way and then I can go back and erase any uh, pencil marks there that you might be able to see. So I think that's pretty good. So that is what you should have. Let's open that up and we're going to grab a couple magnets. So we know that the magnet's going to have to be placed somewhere underneath this right around here. So that won't be too hard for us to figure out. So over here, I'm going to come in a little bit, and this is where the bulk is coming out. 
and I'll probably come in between here about 3 sixteenths of an inch because we'll have maybe a little something to cover that up. Now if I can only find the mate. Put the mate on top and when we bring it over it will hit on here where it should. So the mate is on top. Make sure my side is where it should be and we're not going to pull, we're just going to make sure our side is straight and drop it and press. Now we can carefully get that up. We can apply glue to this now and get that down. And I'm going to want to look here really quick where it is that I need to be even. Looks right about there. And I'll burnish that. So now that is what we have and I think that looks really nice. So let's carefully open that up. And we're going to get our paper for over here. Now for this, that'll be pretty easy because we have a lot of scrap pieces in our reserves that can be used, I'm sure. In your reserves, you will find these prints. Here's one on the back. It is this, very pretty. Here is this one, and on the back we have this. So this might even look good coming off from um, that, and I think that's what we're going to do. If over here you have on this piece, again it's behind this, it's 12 inches long, and it's about 4 inches wide. If you can fill that adhesive, let's trim that off really quick. So locate this one. This is 12 inches and I believe it's about 4 inches wide as well. Alright, we're going to stick those two together. So the big flower is down here. Okay, and we're going to turn it this way. So again, the big flower is still down there. We're going to measure over 6 and a quarter inches and cut. I know sometimes it can, we can get turned around quite a bit on, um, on cutting and stuff. So again, we have this. And you know, even going this side would be really pretty too um, on that and less busy. But we're going to go with, gosh, I can't make up my mind because there's this here. That's really pretty. I'm going to go with this side, guys. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to double these up. Measure over three and a half inches and cut. I'm going to apply glue to this and I'm going to glue that down. I'll apply glue to this one and I'll glue that down. Again, you're going to uh, stay clear of that outside score line on your hinge, so you should be able to get a white border around there. I am really tossed up, guys, on this. I think I'm going to go with this side up, to be honest. Mm. I like both sides. They're both really pretty, but I'm going to go with this side, I think, having the glue. paper is gorgeous. I just can't decide. Let me go with that. A little less busy. And I'll use this side up. Oh, yeah. I better just do it. Otherwise, we're, I'm going to be haggling over which side I want <laughs> forever. And sometimes that happens, especially when I get into a paper pack that I just totally adore. And I think that this is such a pretty one with the colors. Okay, I'm happy with that. For over here, 
we're going to get into this. And see this real beauty is to be true to oneself. That is so correct. We're going to get that. And that's going to be right like that. So we'll cut this out. I hate cutting circles, seriously. It's hard for me. That's probably the hardest task is to cut a circle, even if it's there for me. It's hard. That looks really good. So I'm going to add glue, and I think you can see this, to this. I'm going to dot a little over there. But I think I'm going to leave this so I can tuck behind. I'm not going to back this one. So I'm just going to kind of look where I need to be on the back and go down and then the rest gets glue. Uh, maybe not all the way over, just enough over. So I like that. I hope you do too. Purdy. Alright, let's get our paper for here. Okay, in your reserves you will find this piece. On the back it kind of has this, uh, almost like this uh, crocheted like lace in the background. So we're going to need, and I think I'm going to go with a 2 and 3 eighths by about 3 and 7 eighths. And this should be okay to do that with totally. But to find this piece, if you need to look, the piece is about three and a quarter by four inches. I'm just going to turn it to this side and we won't measure this. I think what I'm going to do is kind of shimmy this over to leave a, a good white border and I'm going to measure to fit on this one. So I'm going to cut. I'll cut this way and then that way. Let's see how I did. That's good enough. I think I'm going to go with that side. It's a little more calm than busy, like this side. But it makes good use of our scraps, for sure. Alright, I'm going to put that one back in and live life in full bloom is what I want to get out. So I'm just going to cut that out. So for this one, I'm going to cut out and around. I'm going to glue it down to white cardstock and I'll cut around that, leaving the white border. Oh, by the way, we had our little uh, butterfly too. We don't want to forget him. That looks really pretty. You know, I'm almost thinking we should pop that up with a couple of our 3Ds. Let's do it. We only need two for this, guys, I think. I think if we maneuver that right there. And then we'll get one more and we'll kind of bring that in from the side as well. This should give it enough support. Let's, let's check that out. I think that will be enough. Yeah, I think so. That looks good. Alright, for this. All right, let's grab this out, and we're going to cut out and get, I want to see what this looks like. We may not do it, but let's just see. We're going to cut out and around this bird cage, and then the dragonfly, and this bird too. All right, so you know the drill. We're going to cut out and around this. We're going to plant it to white cardstock, leaving a white border. We're going to do the same thing with the dragonfly. Now, don't 
Don't worry about his tail. I mean, when I cut this, I'm going to come out a little so I at least get some of his tail when I'm fussy cutting. And then I will uh, see what that kind of looks like against the white cardstock. But I think that's how I'm going to be doing it. If you want to wait to see how mine comes out, you can do that. And then the bird, too. One thing about the birdcage when you're cutting it out, it's going to be very hard to cut out the scroll work. So what I did was I just came in here and then went up to the top and over so that it's easier. <clears throat> so before I place him onto white cardstock, I'm going to bring this up so you can kind of see it. I did go narrow and kind of grooved in and out around that for shape, but it's very thin. So we're definitely going to want to put this down to some white cardstock and cut out and around that. I have all mine cut out, so you can kind of look and see how I did the him. Here is my bird cage. My bird. You can see that. And then, of course, my little butterfly. So the first thing I would like you to do right now is this guy is going to be kind of like this coming over. But we need to catch his, his wing over here just a little bit underneath this and, of course, up over here. So wh where we're going to apply glue, I'm going to bring this up for now, is we're going to put a little dot here and right here. And let's see how what that does for us. I'm going to stick his wing in that glue there. And I'm going to bring it down, kind of like this. Okay. Now for his tail, we're just going to place some glue under there. And we'll wipe up any seepage. But the idea is we want to get the glue off the back of this piece here so that none seeps out. All right, let's place this. And what we're going to do on this is we're going to bring it over. It's going to slightly over, overlap the pocket. So where we're going to need to put glue is right here. Let's turn this over down here. So just along the bottom and up the side a little. And we have some here. So it's just going to come right over this bird cage like a layer. Okay. Now for his little tail. We're going to place it down. So what we got here is a nice little tuck for a photograph over here and I'll show you. And this is nice and glued down. Okay, the bird. Ooh, I like him right here. So he can just be glued down. And then we'll get the butterfly. Kind of overlapping there. And then the butterfly. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. Yep, we're putting the butterfly on the outside here. Just right there. That's his home. All right, let's. This is some tough magnets here. There's that. Let me find a little piece here. Found this. Just to kind of show you, here's our pocket, but back behind here you can stuff um, a photograph. And if this was backed with, with some white cardstock, it would really stick out. So this doesn't fit, this is just in my scrap piece. But as you can see, if that part was lined all the way around, it would look nice there. Either way. All right, I think that it looks great. Page five is complete. Let's get our score tape. If you run out of the quarter inch, we have three eighths, unless you have more quarter inch. Quarter inch is, is uh, cheaper than the three eighths. So I'll probably switch to my three eighths when I have to. 
And we'll put this in the book together. So there's up. And then we're going to come one down the middle and two on either side. We're going to burnish that. And then we're going to place it in our book together. All right, I got the score tape off the back there. It's looking good. Here's five. So just make sure that your butterfly is up, the pink is up, and then you know the 12 is in the right position there. So you're not putting it on upside down. Okay, I'm going to come in from the side, probably 3 sixteenths of an inch. I think I got that on pretty good. Now I'll just open this up and burnish. And when you burnish, be careful of your dragonfly. We got him down pretty good. Now you know why I wanted to uh, cut out and make sure he was backed with something. He needs to be strengthened up a bit there, so that's what we did. Looks good. We are now on to page six, our half page. We're on page six, it's our half page. And all we have is our pocket. So we cut a 5 by 9 and 1 8 inch pocket. We laid this on our scoring board. So we were 5 inches across. We scored it at a half inch. Then we turned this so we were now 9 and 1 8 inch across. We scored it at a half inch and 8 and 5 8 inch. Let's finish this off. So in the corners, you know what to do. We need to clip out those little squares. And we can fold on those score lines to get this ready. And we can actually assemble this pocket. So we're gonna just put our glues down here. And then we will get that down. We'll grab our 3 8 inch score tape and we will lay it on those flaps. If you'd rather use glue for this part, you can. I'm using the score tape. I find that that's so reliable and I'll get it on. And glue is reliable too, so don't get me wrong. Score tape, I'm a score tape girl, and I trust it, and I like it, and it stays put. Let's get our sheet out that we will be using. I have my book out, and here's our number six half page, and we're going to erase as much as we can there. In your reserves, you will find this skinny little strip. It is about three quarter inch wide. And we're gonna use up some of these scraps by about eight and three quarters inch this way. On the back, it has part of those ladies lips. All we're going to do with this is measure over eight inches and cut. So once you have that strip, we're going to set that off to the side. We're going to place this down. And then what we'll do is what we did before by sliding this back in there. But we're going to leave about 3 16 inch between our hinge and this. And we'll center it top to bottom. So I have this ruler down so you can see the edge of my paper. If glue is easier for you, please use that. And your opening is right here. So, 3 sixteenths. I think right about there. This is where I want to be. And I'm going to press.
this is the time for this to add our glue because I don't want to fight this with score tape. And we're just going to slip that right on in there. And we'll leave a little bit of a white lip and get that in. And that should fit nicely for us. Let's find our paper for this. In your reserves, you will find this piece. It's where we cut the little curtain out over there. And on the back, it looks like this. For this one, what we're going to do is we're going to measure over 4 and 3 eighths inch and cut that. So this is what you should have when you are done making that cut. That would look pretty there, but I really like this print. So I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to measure over 8 inches and cut. This should fit our panel, bringing it over, making sure we are even. I have a little bit of white over here and I have that lip there. That is a beautiful little window in the background. We're going to glue that down. I like it. So one thing is, is if you were to pull back to this page, I want you to grab some of your three, what is that, three quarter inch flat Rochelle, and we're just going to tuck that right there, side to side, I'm going to glue that down. I was looking at that, I was like, wait a minute, something isn't right, something I missed something, and I wanted to put that lace, so we're just going to put it in there now. It does not, which way is the right way, I think it's this way but it does not glue down our little pocket. So when yours is completely dry, we're finished there. We're finished with page six. It looks good. We're now on to page seven. Page seven, there is no pre-cuts. It's just a piece that we're going to be looking for to place down. And I believe I found the one that I wanted to place here. And in your reserves you will find this and on the back it looks like that. This is about four inches by I believe eight. And it is. So you have a choice because we're going to be short up here. We do have to get something, and I have something for that. But you can place it like this, or you can do this side. And I'm going to have this side up, actually. And if you want to watch first to see and coordinate yours, you can. So I'm just going to place this down. This is a very pretty print, and I hate to cover it with glue, but I, I, uh, I want to take some of the busy away. And uh, I don't want to lay a picture over that, so I wanted to have something. So I'm going to come and be about an eighth of an inch away from my hinge there. Place that down. That's pretty. Okay. In your reserves, this piece, what we're going to do is cut this strip off. And I'll show you what mine looks like. This is what it looks like. It has a little purple border there. And I'm just going to measure to fit. That's all I'm going to do. It's 8 inches, in case you just want to stick it on your paper cutter. And then I'm going to cut. And once we have that, we're going to glue it down. I thought the purple looks really nice there. I'm just going to layer this over, leaving a white border. I think that looks 
looks good. All right, had a bit of a commotion. We had a delivery, so the dogs went crazy. One thing I was gonna think about doing is maybe a little lace on this, but I'm not going to. Tanner got into my lace and it's all crinkled up and ruined, so I'm out as far as that lace. All right, I do wanna do something before we head over here. Um, one thing is that on my video share that I'm basing this off, I had like a little fold out here. But I think what I want to do is use this beautiful cut apart. So what we're going to do is just cut this out. And I'm going to cut around it and then I'm going to back it to some white cardstock. And I think that's going to look gorgeous against this. I have mine all cut out and it's backed. And I think we're going to create a cute little tuck area. So you can have a photo here and then maybe layer one in there. So underneath here, I'm going to go straight across and down here. And that'll give it enough support, I think. I think I'll bring it down lower than the, the, uh, the page just to overlap onto white. I think that'd look kind of cool. Try to get that in the center as best I can. Now I'm going to check to make sure that that is enough glue for what I want to do. I think that should work. Let's see what we got here. And this, let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, page seven is complete. We're now on to page eight, which is a full page. We're on page eight and we are ready to go over our pre-cuts here. First one, we cut a five and three quarter by eight inch piece. We called it a tall fold out. We laid this on our scoring board so we were five and three quarters inch across. We scored at a half inch and five eighths inch. Hi Sneaky, how are you? That's my kitty. We have a four by six inch. We called it a small fold out. There's only one score on this. We placed it so we were four inches across and we scored it at a half inch. Next, we had a six and seven eighths by seven and one eighth inch and we called it a wide fold out. Now we placed this on our scoring board so we were six and seven eighths inch across. We scored at a half inch and 5 eighths inch. We then had a 2 and a half by 7 inch and we called it a pocket. We laid this on our scoring board so we were 2 and a half inches across and we scored it at a half inch. We turned that so now we're at 7 inches. We scored at a half inch and 6 and a half inches. Last pieces to the puzzle here were two straps. And we scored them the same and cut them the same. They were one and a quarter by five and a half inches. On each one, we laid them so we were five and a half inches across. We scored at a half inch and three quarters inch. All right. So I forgot to turn on my camera. So in your paper pack, locate this. It's the same print as what we had before. And all we're going to do is turn that upside down. And we're going to measure over eight inches and we're going to cut. And you can put that in your reserves. You'll have a piece down here. And what you'll do is you'll just measure over this way eight inches and you'll take that piece off. So first thing we're going to work on is our four by six small fold out. And we're going to fold on that score line. We're going to attach this to the back, just like that, and on the back there. And then what we're going to do is pinch and hold it. And I'm not coming up all the way. I'm just going to leave a little bit here. And we'll flip it over. And don't mind this because what had happened was, because I forgot to turn on the camera, 
I had already glued pieces down so I took it off and we'll just burnish that okay before we go further what we're gonna do is find our paper for this in your reserves you will find this piece and it is cut off from when we had done the curtains and I would like to use this so what I'm going to do is the curve is right here and here is the back piece is just big enough for us to use this up we're gonna measure to fit and so what I'm gonna do is place this down and I'm gonna leave myself a border here and a border there I'm gonna come over here and I will place a pencil mark where I'm gonna need to cut and I'll make sure I leave a little white border. I'll come up here where I can still see part of that fold out and then I will make the mark right there so that I know what I need to do. So my first cut, I'm gonna cut this way and then I'll cut that way. Now you can use this any way. If you'd rather have it like this, you can. I'm gonna use the little window here. So I'm just gonna place that, making sure that I've got a white border, make sure I did right, and we're going to glue this down. And then we're going to find our paper for the inside. All right, we'll open that up. In your reserves, you will find this piece. It is, it's about three and a half inches by about six inches long. And I think we're going to use that. So we'll just measure to fit that. Now make sure you come away from your little hinge here, about an eighth of an inch. And we're just going to drag it down so we can still see our white border. And we will make our pencil marks. And now I'm just going to cut this way and that way. I'm going to verify that this will fit in there before I do anything. You know, you can use this side too if you would prefer. We'll get this down. And I'll place this. Oops. Got that a little off. There we go. And if you have any glue seeping out, definitely take care of that. Our next piece that we want. Oh, I need to go turn off the Roomba, that's for sure. He's loud is the five and three quarter by eight inch tall fold out. And we're gonna fold on those score lines. And I'm gonna go shut off the vacuum. Here in just a moment. All right, so on the outside score line, we're gonna pinch. And now we're going to fit this to where it goes over the back and we're going to line that up with the top and bottom of our page. It should fit. We'll pinch and we'll glue this down. Now we're going to fold back on that other one. We will press in so it's flat and we'll find our paper. In your paper pack you will find this print and on the back it looks like this. So what we're going to do is turn it like that so this is down here we're going to measure over oh seven and seven eighths inch and cut. This is what you should have turn it upside down to where this is over here, measure over five inches and cut, measure over again five inches and cut. So this is what you should have. We're going to apply glue to this one and we're going to glue it down. It should fit nicely and we'll burnish it. We'll also take this one and you have a choice. You can put it this side up or if you'd like something a little different, you can go with that side. I'm going to have this side up. So I'll glue down this one first. That 
looks about right. I think I'll just open that up and burnish. All right, our next one is the six and seven eighths by seven and one eighth wide fold out. We'll fold on that. Get those hinges ready to go. Okay, now mine's going to show upside down, and I am going to, because our hinge is going to be off to the left, and I'm just going to erase that so it doesn't confuse you. Hinge off to the left, the outside score line, pinch and crease, and then we're just going to place that right in the center there. We'll fold that over, and we'll glue down that hinge. All right, press back. That feels right. We're going to open that up. And we're going to work on getting our paper for this. In your reserves, you will have this uh, picture, like picture frame in here. It's already in there if you want to find it. If you were to place this down, bring it over, you will have enough room to clear away from this hinge and still have some white border there. We're just going to glue that down. And make sure it's about six inches wide before you do that. So make sure it's exactly six inches. Should be good. All right, I'm going to set that off to the side. We're going to grab our pocket. Down in the corners, we're going to clip out those little squares. And we're going to do like we normally do with this. We're going to fold on those score lines. And then we're going to apply the glue to tack in to the sides and apply our score tape. Now before you apply your score tape, what I'd like you to do is place this down. This should fit side to side. That's why I said make sure your panel was six inches wide. And mine is, so it's all good. I'm going to grab my 3 8 score tape here. And if I have any overhang, which I do, I'm going to clip that off. Let's place our pocket. If you need to pause the video, if I went way too fast for you, please do so. When we place it, we'll just make sure that we leave ourselves some space down here. I think that's good. In your reserves, you will find this piece on the back. It looks like this. And it's about two and a quarter inches wide by about eight inches long. And I'm going to do a measure to fit. I'm going to leave that up there. We're going to just make sure we leave a little white lip there, just a little bit. And we also need to get down there, so I'm going to scoot this over so I can see what's going on. And then I'm going to cut. I'll cut the long way first and then this way. After you make your cut, you have a choice. You can go with that side up, which is beautiful as well, or you can go this way. And this is the way I'm going to have that showing. Again, using up some of these scraps. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial. I think this album's turning out absolutely amazing. In your paper pack, you will find this print. And on the back, it is this. 
So for this particular uh, fold out, you are going to have a choice on how you finish this off. And there's an easy way and then there's going to be a harder way and I will get to that so you can make your choice. But first let's cut this to where we need to cut it. Now you see right here we have this gold frame going around, right? Well right here just to the left, right on the line, as you can see, let me darken that up a little. Right here, I made a line. It is just to the left of that gold ring. What we're going to do is put this on our paper cutter now, and we're going to cut straight down so that it leaves this gold ring. And I'm going to show you. So everyone wants to do this right now, and I'll give you the choice in a moment. But we definitely all want to do this. So now I've cut, and you see where I've left that ring, the gold. So we'll put that in our reserves. The next thing is right over here, you can see in the flowers where that gold is. So I'll put a little mark. We're going to put this on our paper cutter, and we're going to cut, and leaving that gold, and I'll show you. So now what you should have is you'll have the gold over here and over here. So if you were to place this down, you will notice that you would have white on each side. We're perfect, right like that, okay? But what we need to do is cut down from the top and the bottom. So I'm going to give you a quick measurement. Okay, so look at your paper like this. Measure over 2 and 7 eighths inch and cut. So that's what we did. We'll put that in reserves. All right, next thing we want to do is just measure over six and seven eighths inch and cut. If you were to place this down, it should give you a nice white border. The easy way right now would just be to apply glue, center that, and glue it down. Those of you that would like a cutout window, a little pocket, you will be joining me on that and uh, we're going to need some white cardstock. So what I want you to do, this is not on your pre-cuts, I want you to cut a 6 by 6 and 7 eighths piece of white cardstock. So I'm going to write that down, 6 by 6 and 7 eighths inch. Okay, so what you'll want to do is apply your glue to this. Make sure you smear it around pretty good here and we're just going to lay that right on top. So if you're still following along and you're not sure if you want to do the easy way or this, what's going to happen is once we glue that down, if you have a die, a circular die or a stencil, it's going to make your life easier. But what you want to do is from the side, place your ruler down, we should be six inches across. What you're going to want to do is measure in five-eighths inch from each side, okay, and you'll place a little dot to get your circle. If you don't have anything and, and you're not good at doing circles like me, okay, what I'm going to do over here is measure in from the side 5 eighths inch, and I'll do the same here. So what you'll want to do after you've made your mark, so I've got 5 eighths inch right here, I just made a little line, 5 eighths inch over here, you make a line, and if you were just to, I'm going to put that out of the way right now, it's easier for me to slide this around. If you were to move this now just a little bit and line this up with the outside of the frame, not your paper, because we're going to follow this frame all the way around, you'll notice you were exactly six inches from the side of this frame to the side of this one, and I'll just make a mark at five-eighths. So over here, one, two, three, four, five, five-eighths. And I'm going to keep going around like this. That way it may seem very tedious, and it is, unless you have some sort of, uh, some sort of die or a stencil. And I do not have one, so. But it should be all the way around the same. 
And that way, when I'm done, then what I can do is kind of connect the dots with my um, scissors. It'll make it much easier for me by placing these little dashes. Okay, It's very tedious, but unless you have a way to do a circle, a nice circle, you know, and I don't have anything, like I said, so this is how I'm going to do, and it goes by pretty quick. Alright, now is the time with your craft knife and your thing. So first, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you glue this down together. And then you're going to start cutting it out. And you'll want to make sure your glue is dry. And you've got plenty on here. What we're doing with the backing here is just thickening it up a bit. So our paper does not... Uh, tear on us, our decorative paper, when we're getting pictures in and out from behind. Okay, so I'm going to give this a moment to dry. I'm going to work on burnishing just a little bit more, make sure that glue is spread out. And then I'm going to start cutting this. So you'll want to start with a pretty uh, clean blade. And we're just going to go for it. Once you get your circle cut out, then you can clean it up a little too. That looks like I got this pretty good. So I can see where I was off just a little bit and I'm just going to trim that up. And I think that circle is good enough for me. I'm not going to fuss anymore over it. I'm just going to make sure I get some of that done. I may clean it up a little bit. but. There is my circle. Good enough. Okay, so for this, I'm going to save that. All right, let's grab our little fold out. If you have any writing here, you may want to erase it. Make sure it's all off there. <clears throat> and we can just place that. Oop, the writing is right down here. And when we place that, the reason why we went in 5 8 inch is to give us some room. What we'll use uh, glue for this and just a thin line. So figure out where your top is. I like to hold mine at the top so I don't put glue on it. But just a thin line of glue down the side. And we'll get the bottom. And we're going to center that side to side, top to bottom. And one thing I like to do is once I place it, I kind of like to push a little in to make sure that there is some room in there. And get it down there. So we're going to burnish that really good. So this, I still have to erase some stuff. And depending on what shape yours is in, you can always use this to kind of slide back in there if you'd like. So mine needs some help here with fixing some of the curve. It's not quite a circle, I can say that much, but it got me by pretty good there. Okay, now for me, what I'm going to do is once I get this kind of cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to stick it down to another piece of cardstock. That will give me just a little bit of white. And I'm going to glue that down and then I'm going to make sure that it fits in there. So I don't need too much. So just find a piece of cardstock, place it down, and I think for this I'm just going to square it up. Let's see, I might have to trim down the sides now. Seems to go in there pretty good. 
And then there's that. Now one thing you may want to do is like grab some of your lace or something and or even um, a piece of ribbon like this and glue it back to the back so that when you do have that and it's down you at least have enough that comes out the top. So I'm going to do that. If you have some. This is n you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do it just to show you here. Make sure I'm going the right way. That's the top. Get on there. I'll let that dry a bit. Not sure. I think mine needs to glue down a little bit more on the back, dry. And then we can just kind of stick that in there if we wanted. It should fit in there. Depending on how mangled yours is, like mine, but I can adjust mine up a little bit. But you can have it like that, and then you can just use these pulls to pull it right back out. All right, so I'm going to stick this off to the side. I'm going to open this up and check this out what I've got going it all looks good it's time to get our straps on so we'll fold on those score lines I'm just going to use my fingers so what I'm going to do is just slip that over the side and right in the middle to where it's on to the back now if you have a lot of excess you can always kind of make it a little less space by pressing it down. I'm pretty good where I'm at. So I got that on there. And here is my other strap. And I think I'll erase that if I can find one. Alright, so here's my strap. I've creased on that side. So on this one, we're just going to kind of wrap that back behind. You can give it a little bend if you'd like to help so it doesn't flare out on you. And what you're going to want to do is line it up with the other one. Okay, this is where mine needs to be. And I'm going to glue that down. Now the magnet will help us place so it, it works and it goes exactly where it's supposed to go. But let's get our paper. In your reserves, you will find this. On the back, it's this. This is about 2 and 7 eighths inch wide by 12 inches long. And this is what we want here. So the first thing I'd like us to do is measure over one and one eighth inch and cut. Measure over again one and one eighth inch and cut. So after you do that, you should have this. And this should be enough for all of our stuff. So all we're going to do is place this down. You'll see your outside score line. Just leave a little bit of white uh, border before you get there. And we're going to measure to fit all these. So I know I need to cut here. So I'm going to do that. So once you have one, you can use this as a template to start cutting your other ones. So I'm going to look to make sure I can't see any pencil marks there. That looks good. Before I glue these down, I'm just going to verify that these do fit. So I know that one fits. And don't glue on um, the next one just yet because we have to place that magnet. But we can glue on the one over here on the outside. So leave that alone and leave the other side of that alone. All right, let's grab couple magnets.
and we're going to place one over here. I would come in maybe a half inch from the side. We will place the mate. We'll turn that over and there should be just enough room to hit that. So we'll bring that over. Now this is where if, if you um, got these on a little wrong. This is where you can like hold this one down or actually just leave that one alone but you can bring this one over to match up and press. Carefully remove. Now we can get these down. Okay, let's see what we have here. Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. That's really pretty. There's Let Your Dreams Blossom, and I think we're going to go with that one. If you'd like to choose a different one, of course you can. So, Let Your Dreams Blossom. All we're going to do with this is cut out and around it, and we're going to glue it down to white cardstock, and we will cut around that, leaving a little bit of a white border. So this part wasn't too hard. It was just the fact that I know for me it's very difficult to cut circles as I've mentioned. And for me when I have no stencil or no die plate to help me out and I want to try to get it as even as I can, that's how I do it. Alright, so I think this would look really good right here. So what I want you to do is kind of center it on your piece and then move it up so you can see exactly how far over and it, it might be a case where you just want to put your glue on this like dot a little because you know it's going to cover that whole piece and then kind of fill it in there So I'm going to carefully divide mine up here and I'm going to press and make sure I don't have any glue seeping out. Oh, that looks pretty good. Where's my little piece? That should be pretty dry. I'm not sure if I'll use this because my circle is pretty mangled, but uh, that should fit right on in there. This page is complete. We're going to put score tape around the outside like a picture frame. One down the middle and two on each side. And we're going to plant this in our book together. I have my album in front of me and I took off the score tape backing. Now on this particular one, I'm going to bring it over mostly to the right. and. I'm going to try and line that up and press. Open everything up and we'll burnish. And this is a great place just to put photos for sure. Nice little pocket we got there. Now, alrighty, let's move on to page nine.